Hi, once again, this is Robert with Clean Pool and Spa. And in this video, I want to go over and kind of answer the question of can I backwash too much? A lot of pool owners think that, it, you know, if I backwash once, that's good, but if I backwash three or four times, that's even better. And that's not the case. And I'm going to go over some details with you right now. Uh, if you have a sand filter and you backwash too much, obviously you're going to have. A loss of sand. Now with each backwash you do lose a little bit of sand but if you over backwash obviously you're going to be losing a lot more sand and then your filtration system is, won't be able to filter uh, as good as it should. Uh, if you have a DE filter it's the same thing a huge loss of DE. You're going to have to recharge the grids each time you backwash and then what happens if, is if you start using too much DE then the filter becomes clogged up. You have to take it take it apart, take the grids out, clean them, put it back together again, and then recharge the system with DE. It's very time consuming and it can be costly as well. Um, obviously, is a huge loss of water. Normally, you lose anywhere from about two to 300 gallons of water per backwash. And if you're doing this, you know, two, three, four times a week, that's a huge water loss. Now that water is going out of your pool, which means that you're going to have to fill it back up again, and which is number four right here, you're going to have a higher water bill. So that's something that you don't want either. So you're putting all of that fresh water back into the pool, which goes to number five, you're diluting all of the other chemical readings in your pool. And that's messing up your other pool readings as well. So what happens when you do that? Well, number six is you're going to have a higher chemical bill. So because you know you're going to have to put in more acid and bicarb and this and that and everything else to try to get those readings correct. Okay. So there's this huge chain of events, domino thing. Uh, uh, ripple effect, whatever you want to call it, about if you over backwash, okay? It's just not, well, I'm over backwashing. It's all of this and probably a hundred things more. Uh, so, to answer the question, when should you backwash? Well, it's right here. When your pressure on your PSI gauge gets 8 to 10 pounds over your just backwashed reading that's when you know it's time to backwash. Check your PSI gauge, make sure it's running properly, it's working properly, and if it's not, replace it. An easy way to figure out if it's working or not is simply turn the system off. If the needle drops to zero, turn the system back on. If it pops back up again, it's probably working okay, but if you turn the system off and the needle sticks, it's probably time to get a new PSI gauge. So that is your, your best friend when it comes to backwashing your system at the right time. So uh, check the description box below, link to my website, cleanpoolandspa.com. Lots of great information over there. Like, subscribe, and comment. Here, I'm Robert with Clean Pool and Spa. As always, be safe and happy swimming. Bye.